So there are about 2000 uh, edible fruits which the nature gives to us in the world but only one particular fruit that is grape has been picked up for wine making and it beats common sense when there are so many edible fruits at least a few of them should be amenable for wine making and some of them must be available locally why can't we start thinking in that direction if only we can open up our minds to possibilities beyond grape then we have a huge market which is waiting to be explored in the northeast and also in meghalaya the art or the cultural significance and the habit of making alcoholic beverages especially from uh, rice that has been a centuries old tradition and um, rice wine or rice beer whatever you want to call it has a very special uh, significance uh, both in the garo and the khasi tradition you have various types of uh, rice wine but fruit wine was something that was not uh, practiced very often uh, until about uh, 1947 when a british uh, captain captain uh, hunt he got a license from the governor of assam to produce what is often uh, known as the uh, meghalaya sherry he was the only licensed manufacturer but then uh, from him other people started learning and people saw that you know uh, started experimenting and found that uh, homemade wines could be made with a large number of fruits ide i pa e jona i captain harold douglas han bara sdang ning ko ke kani ka kam wine making fruit wine making apo megalaya tamba kani ka winery jong i captain han menta la don la life ho life san snam e ba kham tre kam sho ni ngala mut ban revive ngi kani ka winery suki suki ta kan sa commercialize ki products ba mi na ka So I started making wine since um, 1993. So 30 years today. Well, those days it was difficult because uh, I had uh, no information how to go about it. The little bit of information I gathered was from magazines. Yeah. Uh, then I had a little book from my uncle on how to go about it. But that's about it. The wine industry started taking off. Uh, it really, you know. a uh, impinge on uh, entered the consciousness of people of Shillong in 2002 when uh, Michael Sam um, by Michael Sam he started the first uh, Shillong wine festival and every year uh, this wine festival would be held and then a lot of people used to come and attract a lot of visitors until it actually became a tourist attraction with the wine makers who are already you know doing it for hobby you said why not organize a wine festival so people will come and make it popular you know and make it commercial at the same time so that's how we came about this idea of holding Shillong wine festival the response was not so good when we first started and uh, the Crinlin swimming pool was the first of you know, first venue where we started the, there were quite a few wine makers at time there were around eight of them but anyway we overcame the obstacles and we started and from the wine festival first then you know it's come to 18 wine festivals now and then 2019 uh that was when things i think took a turn because 2019 we had a northeast food show and in the northeast food show we had invited the uh, wine makers from all over the northeast to participate and the response was like phenomenal in the sense that uh, i think that the wine pavilion was actually the center of attraction of the entire show our wine makers saw the kind of packaging that you know nara aba had uh, brought and the you know and the Bhutan, uh, Bhutanese wines and there was no comparison so then you know the, i think the realization that the kind of quality that we have is not uh, cannot match that of arunachal or assam or even bhutan so after the northeast food show in 2019 we saw that you know there was this there was this uh, thirst or this hunger for learning more about uh, fruit wines yeah you know to organize a wine festival initially we had to get a temporary bar license from the government because uh, the fruit wine wine making was not legalized so you know? to gradually with the different wine festivals we realized that it's time we legalize wine so then we engaged with the different governments to legalize wine i was approached by shri k m kumar who is the chairman of meghalaya farmers empowerment commission 
and he told me uh, you know that he'd been working towards uh, bringing out the homemade wine excise um, policy from excise department but somehow you know in the past 50 years uh, we could not uh, bring about any policy because uh, we we had uh, seen the huge potential in cr19 and he had been interacting with a lot of other stakeholders and uh, earlier only uh, you know um, annual festivals were held uh, annual wine festivals were held in meghalaya but that was only like you know no sale was allowed legally so that was the uh, you know backdrop where uh, you know meghalaya farmers empowerment commission uh, shri ken kumar uh, he approached me and you would not believe the idea of uh, this whole thing came from our uh, topmost leader uh, our dynamic uh, chief minister of meghalaya shri kondat k sangma he had uh, you know uh, given us uh, three four scenarios around which we can work around uh, you know uh, which we can work around for our homemade wine policy we we uh, had undertaken uh, like you know pros and cons of each scenario and then came up with a blueprint which again was discussed with meghalaya farmers uh, empowerment commission specifically with um, uh, kumar sir so the excise department yes did give birth to the excise policy but then bringing this life to the policy is only the efforts of meghalaya farmers empowerment commission after we got license you got a call from different wine store restaurant bars or certain so we are very happy that we got our license and we are able to showcase our products and sell our products in different restaurant au da chinga dau you license man name dau de chinga wine store rang oba chinga matam matam wine store rang ode karo is ni area au aro shilong rang oba chinga wine store rang o chinga doning so once the policy has been notified now uh, ecosystem contain not just the enabling law but also we needed to prepare our people so whoever were there in the state who were inclined to be inclined to make some wine we picked them up we took them to nashik showed them the process they understood the whole thing they came back fully charged and uh, we are supporting them in various ways by providing them the capacity building training programs i am really very thankful to the farmer empowerment commission that arrange a two week exposure trips to nashik and mumbai last year september 2022 and there the dreams that i had of making wine become more realistic though we will not be achieve in the very close future the things that we have seen there but when coming back from there i try to implement what i had seen there and what i have learned from there with whatever material available locally and since then I have a sort of enhance in wine making increase much more almost 5 6 times what I have done last year Chinga mai ba chi ang ha Mumbai na sip chi ang ha u no ang ni wine ku ter ang na ta ja bisong and gi mina grik ka khosa ra na nang gen wine de grik ka sa ni mina ang ko de ri je kha nga ri je kha ang ba de ba ang ko ba na sip chi de de ma nga Nigim nanga na sipchi angon angni inkale chong bata de nami dakki angni gisko ikut harina jotton khani gisde sokpa you know we realize that if we are to grow our food wine sector we need to train our people in uh, professionally how to make wines but it was uneconomical also was not feasible to ask for us to send you know wine makers to nasik you know for Two three months for training. So we decided to invest in a training winery. We decided to invest and set up our own winery here in Shillong. We are proud to announce that we are the only institute in the country to have its own winery at home. We are indebted and honour that, with due permission from the Board of Governors of the Institute of Hotel Management, which includes our Chairman Sri Dr. Vijay Kumar, our officials from the Ministry of Tourism, Government of India, Sri Gyan Bhushan Sir, Sri K N Kumar Sir, Sri Shalya Sir from the Meghalaya Farmers Commission, who has. given us constant support and also with the financial support in setting up the winery of the country i am the trainer for the wine appreciation course uh, that is happening at ihm shillong uh, and it is organized by the meghalaya farmers commission 
so we did this two days uh, appreciation course which included uh, not only wines in general uh, but grape wines fruit wines and meats as well having a more inclusive approach towards fermented beverages than just going the traditional grape way by and large um, the kind of products that we make as fruit wineries need uh, awareness and education and i think this is a first step towards that and uh, the kind of people that we had uh, this time in the course so they were they were housewives who were looking for revival they wanted to look at something new we had people from the fnb space we had wine makers and we also had uh, you know we had farmers it was very very interesting so we had farmers as well and uh, the the, res the kind of response that we got was fabulous i was not expecting a full house in the first course we were invited by the farmers commission here to conduct a wine appreciation and a wine makers course and uh, it was the first time ever but uh, the way people turned out about 48 people uh, in the wine appreciation course and about 37 people in the wine makers course for the uh, first event was a fantastic turnout people were very very enthusiastic uh, there was a little bit of uh, mixed feelings amongst the people uh, reason being uh, they have been following uh, the traditional method of uh, making wines whereas uh, we come from a commercial background wherein the processes involved in commercial wine making to the processes involved in uh, traditional wine making of Meghalaya uh, there's a lot of difference and uh, people people found it uh, heavy in the beginning where uh, information and terminology that we were using uh, was not familiar to them but over the period of three days uh, I think people have got familiarized they are understanding uh, uh, what uh, what we are uh, bringing on table for them we are uh, trying to uh, develop a sense of uh, uh, making commercial wines which can just not be sold in Meghalaya and Northeast but also across the country and across the world. We had these classes, it seems that it is a very very wide uh, course, you know, training and I'm going to be here for 27 days and I look forward to learning all the perfections and all the flaws <laughs> and everything about making wine. The man can eat a privilege by an hour that you come can make a lot of look to what a lot of prime e one come hugging a training with a new training high HM and go training go a young toy by each bunch of bunch training not a deadline training or late jack training in a the man can eat a wine that man go on toy by a hug a nook and nook of the man you a year you process it so what to check I'm time to get so to one hug in a pair young in a Charling yang itu West Jantia yang ilah man kisah tu ko bun ha bun jaj ha kisah ti iman tip iki kamu jaj proses si kisah. Megalah Fruit Wines was one of the I would say one of the start attractions because right from day one we had people people were so interested because this is an this is this is an entirely new category of wines and in the entire Win Expo and Sial exhibition Megalah was the only one with fruit wines. So we had a very clear, uh, unique, uh, you know, products. Uh, Win Expo actually gave us a free masterclass where we were able to showcase four of our best wines. And more importantly for our winemakers, there were a lot of inquiries. In fact, uh, we had very, very positive requests from uh, big brand restaurants like Olive. We had, uh, you know, we had requests from the Peruvian Embassy. We had requests from a couple of embassies to, to make our wines available to these embassies. Or we had requests from the Lodi chain of hotels. They wanted to keep our wines in their hotels. Or we also uh, were approached by the chefs of the DLF who wanted to put our wines also in their, in their uh, restaurants and in their hotels. I think all in all, it has been a very successful show. So when we have a drink of the crowd, we have a drink of the Ban Wan Jingo, ia kan ika International Win Expo, kaba Long Hang ni po Nong Ba Delhi, ia kaba kan ika Rensan, ia kaba Jo Ekalat ban Peni, sya kapertai, sya pang kan ika Jing Long Kerpang, jong kajela jungi, ha kaba Peni ia kan ika Fruit Wine. Tekad nutam lada 
yo kum kani karan san ba ki brio ki jungi khamtam ki nong shna wine ba ki nong rap so kin su thu ba kadan ka ka yo ka hat but habadan ka yo ka hat kadan ka lat kan ti ban la ban die ba kum juru kan kin tiu ya ka yo ka kot jong ki brio ka jungi but kum juru nga sngo ban ong ba bebon na ki ri jong ka perthai ki ba mi khmat ha kan ka jaka ki la yo ban wan ban tip kham ha shapang Kajing don kini ki fruit wine napa mekhalia. Shillong Wine Festival 2023 has been supported by the government of Mekhalia through the Department of Tourism, and this is for the first time that the government has stepped in to support this festival. And in the past two years, government has been able to eliminate whatever hurdles. Were there standing in the way of the farmers and winemakers of Meghalaya, and today we are determined to further enhance winemaking as an industry, which will ultimately benefit all cross sections of society, uh, starting with the farmers. The way forward is essentially uh, going to revolve around the entrepreneur. So preparing the entrepreneurship in the wine sector is our priority. Willingly, the benefit will go to our farmers only. So you must ask why Farmers Commission is getting interested in wine. It's not about wine. If you ask me very, very bluntly, I can say that look, I'm not interested in wine, but I'm interested in my farmer selling his fruit to the winemaker. So the winemaker has to be created first, and once the winemaker comes into play, the farmer will be happy. Nobody has uh, come up. To take our fruit, our local fruit, like so young, you know, even so few. So we just uh, sell uh, it to the nearby market that the people will buy it at ten rupees or five rupees, twenty rupees. Tambah ini kisah nak kita ada pan ini tung so pun suedi ayo untuk so kebun tambah saya upat kadiman kerana teh long undan cakapan di teh nado ubah ini as dan kalau ada pan bah ini ibah batik so teh nama kawan. Iwan sini, Iwan yang keren ini mah, Iwan sih so, tapi bila sih bet untuk kembali Iwan bila kian tu, misalnya bukan nak kam metoi mahu yang ini kibat tung so, long so dan ibun ru, sih bet dan kian ru biang bet, kemudian misalnya kalau nak kam metoi yang ini di sinong sini. Nama orang ini yo amne, orang ini yo kumpa peraton kena itu orang kisah orang ini yo ni dalam ni kejaka, ubado kumpa rutan nyutan ubado amne, nama ruba jam ni mula ban. Lain buat-buat. Kalau sudi, kutea kutea kesurok, kapisa kalau ngapot kan, kato sispa, kato sanspa, kaporo, kabampor bah, rap suka telia, kata umur suak yang filong kanta tengteng kam ayok ya kapisa bayak kau ya kedor. Kemar kebun kam ni kam suk bun ni kini kini nang sinawan kan, kisiwan bat kisujembek kapisa lo suka sibek. Kau nak lari ba, tengteng bet macam ni, ni sangi nampung kan kiri kiri jadi sor. Macam ni kerja jangan ikam nanti kalong kalong tu pun tunggu sok tambah. Nada don kerja kapan di itu. Kalong rap sok re kita yo kerja penjaya tu kita toy kita yo rumah ni ke. Cudai kutia kutia ka. Cui yo aja malu malu pun dong dah mentoy ka. Sebab orang re bukan mentoy re, wah orang re kah mentoy he. Dong baca cui jai kenyet kenyet. Nway kendu marlong orpo du dah. Kalau mai jai. So way forward for me is to have as many winemakers with as many brands as possible with as much sophistication as possible so that it will not just be a state product it will be a national product it can be a global product once it becomes a global product sky is the limit and uh, Shillong should emerge as the fruit wine capital of the country that is non-grape wines